Hi guys, Melissa here with TCT Crafts and welcome. This week we are making some super cute little faux Valentine's cupcakes. So how cute are these to put on your tear trays in your kitchen? You can use them in your wreaths or centerpieces. These are super easy to make and doesn't take very long actually. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. I want to show you guys how we make fake cupcakes. So these are pretty easy. Um, I know there's a lot of people that's already done these and this is not a, not a new trick, but in case you haven't seen it, I want to show you how I do it. So I just started with some little cupcake cups and I've just taken a little piece of cardboard and put it in the bottom. Then I'm gonna use this great stuff. I like to use the reusable. So that way, when we're done, we can just put it aside and still use the can. Some of the cans are not reusable and you have to empty it. So I'm just going to give this a good shake. And I'm just going to squirt this right in the center I don't want to get too far around the outside just because it will expand your cupcake liner and make it kind of a weird shape. And we don't want to go too tall because it's going to expand. So I'm just going to keep it right in the center. Just like this. And then that will expand and do its thing. And by tomorrow, we will have some cupcakes that we can frost with our fake frosting. So I hope this helps. If you haven't ever made fake cupcakes before, this is how we do it. Okay guys, today we are going to make some fake strawberries. So I'm gonna be working on a um, Valentine's cupcake tutorial for you guys. Um, we've got our cupcake prepping. So I've put the spray foam in there and we're gonna let it do its thing. We won't be able to decorate this until tomorrow. So I've got my gaps and, cra gaps and cracks in there and we're gonna let that set. And so now we're gonna start working on prepping the strawberries because when you're working with fake bakes, typically you have to do things in stages. You gotta let things dry. Um, set up things like that so you typically can't do the project all at the same time it just depends on what you're making but in this particular case we're going to need to do it in steps so i've got the cupcake it's setting tomorrow it'll be ready to put our fake frosting on there so now i'm going to prep our covered strawberries so we're going to be using these little fake strawberries um, i got these off of amazon i'll post the link for you but you can buy them um, lots of different places, but just little fake plastic strawberries. And then we're going to be using some glossy Mod Podge. Some all-purpose caulk. I think I just picked this up at the Dollar Tree. Um, but anywhere where they sell caulking. And then I'm going to be using three different colors of paint. So I'm just going to be using some white acrylic paint. I'm going to be using a pink parfait acrylic paint and a burnt umber acrylic paint so it doesn't have to be the apple barrel brand this is just what i have um it is a good brand i like to use them a lot but there are lots of different brands out there just a, an acrylic paint in those colors if you want to use a different color pink you definitely can but this burnt umber will give us the chocolate color and then we're going to have some pink ones and then the white and then I have some fake sprinkles. So these are just some different sprinkles I've gotten off of Etsy. I like to get my sprinkles um, usually from, from Play Code 3, but lots of different sellers on Etsy will sell the fake sprinkles. So I've got some of those. And then we're going to also be using puffy paint or dimensional fabric paint, either one. So I've got some pink, some white, and 
some red. So those are our supplies of what we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with my caulk and just cut that off. And I'm just gonna squeeze some of that. We're doing three different colors, so I'm going to squeeze some in each of my little bowls. Okay, let's get the last one. Oops, got two bowls there. Let's put one up. And these little plastic bowls are good. I, I picked these up from the from the Dollar Tree. They come in a little pack, and they're good for these little projects where you just want to dispose of them afterwards. You could also do these in a container that you can seal it, like put a lid on it and save it for, for a few days. But I'm just gonna make mine in my bowl. Okay, now I'm gonna add some glossy Mod Podge. I'm gonna finish up this, finish up this jar. Okay. You know what I did guys that was not glossy Mod Podge oh my gosh I finished up the white that's okay we needed to add the white paint anyway so I put the white paint in now I'm gonna add the glossy Mod Podge I was like what did I just do it's like that didn't look like Mod Podge And there's no measurement for this. You just kind of have to experiment with it. So we're just gonna stir that all together. If it's too runny, you'll add more caulking. If it's too thick, you can add more Mod Podge. Or paint. I'm just going to stir this up really good. It's actually a pretty good consistency. So I think that's going to be perfect. Okay, let me go ahead and do another one with you guys. So we're going to add our pink acrylic paint and let's add some glossy Mod Podge and stir it all together. If you want to lighten this paint color up, can add a little bit of white to it. Could add a little bit of white acrylic paint and make it a softer pink. It's pretty good. Okay, now let's do our chocolate, our fake chocolate. So we're gonna add our burnt umber in there. Let's 
add some of our glossy Mod Podge. I think we need to add a little bit more acrylic paint to give this a darker color. So let's add a little bit more of this. We have all of our colors mixed up now. So now all we're going to do, let me make sure this is really mixed up. Okay, I think we're pretty good. So now all we're going to do is just take and dip our strawberry In our little mixture. I want to leave some of the top so we can see that it's strawberry. I'm just going to place it on my parchment paper. Now we will have to do this a couple of coats and as you can see the the part that's laying on the parchment paper is gonna, when we pick it up, it's gonna lose some of that, so we'll dip it again. So we're just gonna let those dry for a few minutes. Let's move on to our pink. We're going to do this a couple times just to give it a good coating. Okay, now let's do our white. Let those dry. So I'm going to keep going um, just for the sake of this tutorial, but I would typically let these dry for a little bit and then come back and do another coat, but we'll just keep going. So I'm going to go ahead and dip it again. I'll show you how we're going to finish these up. So I'm just going to do one. We've got our one strawberry. I'm not gonna do those yet, um, but for this tutorial, I'll go ahead and show you how we're gonna finish it up. So I'm gonna take some of this white dimensional paint, or you can use puffy paint. And we're gonna add some little zigzags on there. And then I'm gonna take a couple of our Big sprinkles. I want to put that little heart on there. And if you don't want the sprinkles, you can leave this part out. And I'm going to add our little sprinkles on there. And then we're going to let it dry. And now it'll be ready. Once it's dry, it'll be ready to use as a topper on our cute little cupcake. 
Okay guys, we are ready to assemble our little Valentine's cupcake. So what we are going to be using today is some lightweight spackles. So this is the Red Devil brand. You can use um, the DAP brand. I think even the Dollar Tree may sell some lightweight spackle. Um, this is just my preferred brand. If I had to choose one, this would be what I would choose, but any of them will work. Um, so we're gonna use some Red Devil lightweight spackle. I'm just gonna use some of our white acrylic paint. And then we have our piping bag. So this is just a Wilton piping bag. And then I'm going to be using a Wilton 1M tip. You can use any tip that you want, just depending on what you want your cupcake uh, frosting to look like. So I'm gonna be using the 1M. And then we've got our sprinkles and our little strawberries that we've made and we've got our little cupcakes. So we are ready to put them all together. So what I'm going to do is I've already mixed up my spackle, but all I did is just take some of the spackle, put it in a disposable type bowl and I added just a little bit of the white paint. And then when I say a little, I mean like you just kind of drizzle a little. I'm not gonna add too much because I've already put some in here, but I mean, not even a couple tablespoons probably because this speckle is already white. If you use the, the Red Devil brand, it comes really nice and white. Um, some of the other brands have a little bit of a tint to it. So you might need to add more of the white paint, but this is really just to make it a little bit smoother for when we're piping because the color is pretty much was already white. But anyway, I'm just gonna stir this together. Okay. And then I'm gonna get my piping bag. And you guys, I am not an expert cake designer. I am not an expert um, at piping. So there are others that may do it a little different. This is just how I do it, okay? So I've got my bag with my tip and I've got my little, I use this little um, tool that I bought off Amazon. I'll try to link it for you. And I just put my bag in there, kind of helps hold my bag, but you can use a, uh, you can use a cup too, a plastic cup. Okay, so I got my bag in there and now we're just gonna add our lightweight spackle, AKA our fake frosting. Just gonna add some in there. Let's add a little bit more. Okay. And I just kind of shake the bag. And just kind of get it squeezed to the bottom. Okay. And then I always give a little squeeze into my bucket because there's going to sometimes be some little air pockets and that'll help get some of that air out. Okay. So we've got our piping bag with our fake frosting and we are ready to frost the cupcakes. So these again were made with the gaps and cracks. So I'm just going to take and pipe around the outside. I'm gonna add a little kind of dot there in the middle and just go all the way around. Like that, let's do another one. I'm just gonna squeeze this all around, put me some there in the middle, and then just go all the way around it. You can go as tall as you want. Okay, let's see if we have enough to do the last one. May have to put some more in my bag. See if we can make it work. Okay, let's 
so we had just enough. So now we have our fake little cupcakes. We're gonna add our little strawberries. We're just gonna sit it right down in there. When this spackle dries, it's gonna dry that with that strawberry in there and it's gonna like act as glue so it will not come out. But if you wanna just for peace of mind, you can add a little bit of super glue on the back of your strawberry and then push it down in there. But I know these are gonna, these will stay once they dry. So we have our cute little covered strawberries on them. If you didn't wanna push it down there or you wanted to lay it more flat, you just design it how you like it. Now I'm gonna add some of our little fake sprinkles on here. I've got some little hearts that we put on the strawberries. Again, I got these from, I think it was Play Code 3, but you can look on Etsy. There are lots of people selling fake sprinkles. I hope to be selling some in our shop soon. I'm just gonna add a few of these. And you can, instead of using your fingers, you can use, let me grab it real quick. Oh, I actually had them right here. You can grab some little, like, this is for my Cricut, but some little tweezers. And if you wanna be more strategic in where you place them, and you can just kinda of use your tweezers to, to set it down on the speckle exactly where you want it. So I'm just gonna add a couple of these hearts and then we'll add some. So now I'm just gonna take and kind of drizzle the sprinkles on just like you would if you had a cupcake you were decorating. And again, when this dries, it'll dry on there, but some of the bigger um, sprinkles, you may have to just kind of tap a little bit, just tap it into the spackle. But once this dries, we're gonna add Mod Podge and it'll seal it. So we've got our fake sprinkles we're gonna add. And I probably should have put these under a pan or something because I'm going to have sprinkles all over my table now, but that's okay. I'll do it before we do the glitter. I'll get a uh, parchment paper. Okay, so we've got some sprinkles. Add as many as you want. And you can stop here. You have your cute little cupcake. I am going to add some glitter to mine. I love glitter, but you do not have to. If you prefer to have them more realistic looking, you can leave the glitter off. But I'm going to add glitter on mine. So I just have some extra fine, extra fine glitter. This one came from Joann's, but you can get them Walmart, pretty much anywhere. So I'm just going to sprinkle some extra fine glitter on these. Super pretty. I don't know if you can see the, the sparkle on the video or not. But they're turning out super cute. And these will probably, I'm probably just going to use these to set on my tiered tray in my kitchen. Little, little Valentine's Day decor. Um, but you can also use them if you make wreaths. You can use them in your wreaths. Because once we seal them, they should be pretty good. Obviously, you know, with even with wreaths you want to keep them out of the elements as much as possible so like under a covered porch or whatever but um but you can use them but mine I think I'm going to use on my tear tray so we've got our cute little cupcakes now frosted with our strawberries and we've got our glitter on there the last thing that I would do is once this dries so tomorrow I will take my matte mod podge let me get it and show you I will take my matte Mod Podge and I would dip my 
brush. I just have some cheap paint brushes that I use for a while and then throw them away. So I'll just dip it in my Mod Podge. And then I will just take and just kind of dust, just lightly go over the spackle. I can't do it now because I don't want to mess that spackle up, but I'll just brush it kind of all over and then let it dry. And there we have it. We have super cute little Valentine's cupcakes and you can do these for any season. Till next time. Bye guys.